In this video I'm going to set the shortcuts for PowerShell to always open it as an administrator. So first let's go down to our start button. We'll go all the way down to the bottom of this menu and click Windows PowerShell and then I'm going to right click any one of these four files but I'll just click this first one right click and I'll choose more and then open file location. Once this is open, I'll just right click the program shortcut that I want to alter and go down to properties. And then on this shortcut tab, I'll click advanced and then I'll click run as administrator. We'll just say OK. Now I think I'll do this for all four of these properties, shortcut, advanced run as administrator OK and OK. We'll do the same thing for these x86 versions. Properties, Advanced, Run as Administrator, and OK. And finally, PowerShell x86, Properties, Advanced, Run as Administrator, OK, and OK. So all four of these are now set to Run as Administrator. Now let's see how to put them in a place that's more convenient. So I'm just going to right click this one, Windows PowerShell, and I'm going to choose Send to Desktop Create Shortcut. And there you'll see now on my desktop I have a shortcut for this. Now you may not want to clutter up your desktop. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And this time I'll right click and say pin to taskbar and now you see I have it down here and by the way if we do that with the ISE pin to taskbar you'll see they're slightly different colors so that we can distinguish one from the other finally it might be that I want it instead up here in my start menu with these tiles so now I'll just right click one and I'll say pin to start and now if we go back in here, you'll see that I have one in my start menu. And I'll just move that up to a more convenient place. So we can delete these from these locations if we wish. I'll just right click one of these and say unpin, unpin, and unpin. So you can choose where you want to put those shortcuts or you can just leave them right here if you wish.